Hello and good evening to you, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, this is Andre Woodvine welcoming you to Andre Woodvine Live, episode number 10, broadcast to you from the beautiful island of Barbados in the West Indies. Wait, you say? Beautiful island of Barbados, but we recognize that skyline. That's Toronto. You're not in Barbados, you're in Toronto. Well, this is my sister's idea, Michelle, in, in Toronto, Sister Michelle. She said, hey, Wednesday is Canada Day. You should do like a shout out for the Canadians. And I said, yeah, that's a good idea. So here we go. Happy Canada Day to all of my Canadian friends, family, hopefully fans, um, and generally hope you had a great day. Hope you managed to get out and do something um, without any uh, protocols being mangled or mashed up. And if this live stream doesn't go very well, well, I'm recording the darn thing and I'm gonna put it on Facebook if all else fails. Um, network connectivity problems tonight. I don't know what's going on. Anywho, um, I've been doing these concerts. Um, I, I guess they were a response to the, uh, to the, the COVID-19 um, shutdown here in Barbados, um, lockdown and quarantine and everything else. Um, and uh, I'm hoping that it is some kind of a stress release, stress relief for you, the viewer, and uh, it's certainly been stimulating for me, um, that's for sure. I've been having fun and learning a lot at the same time. So here we go, enough talk from me. I'm gonna start the, uh, the evening with a beautiful Keith Jarrett composition entitled, uh, what is it entitled? Memories of Tomorrow, which is a, a really cool, um, a really cool title actually. He has, he has great titles. Um, and he's Keith Jarrett, pianist, jazz composer, who's written some amazing tunes that are some of my favorite melodies too. So I'll just push this button here. <laughs> <Jeez>. <sighs> Breathe deeply. <laughs> oh gosh. Let's see, I need a flute. I need a flute. Brain is scrambled. I tell you. Running these broadcasts. Wow. Okay, here we go.
There you go. Memories of tomorrow, Keith Jarrett. All right. So if you are watching this, oh, wait a minute. Let me change my... All right, there we go. Okay, good. So if you are watching this and you do happen to be in Canada, um, please consider giving Barbados a visit. We have had some very good news in the last uh, couple of weeks. We have no more uh, COVID-19 cases at the moment. And on top of that, we are in the process of opening up um, our airport and um, it is now open I believe and the first flight that's going to be coming in here I think it's, it might be July 3rd I'm not sure now I, had, I, I can't remember what I read in the paper but the first flight is going to be an Air Canada flight I believe coming all the way down from Canada um, with hopefully with some folks who are looking to have a fairly safe vacation um, because as I say we have been um, uh, we, we have no um, cases of, of COVID-19 right now and, uh, and haven't had any new ones for about 30, 35 days, I think it is. So, you know, um, please consider making your way uh, down to Barbados for a holiday. This is where you will um, arrive, the Grantley Adams International Airport. Um, when you get there, you can have a drink in the bar um, and then you'll come to this and this is as good a reason as any that I can think of for coming to Barbados so um, you know Toronto is beautiful but Barbados is beautiful too so there you go um, and on that note <laughs> we're going to play uh, the Charlie Parker song Barbados which Nobody's actually really sure why he titled the song Barbados. We, we, asked, um, we asked Roy Haynes, um, the eminent jazz drummer who worked with Charlie Parker, why did Charlie Parker call the song Barbados? He didn't know. Um, and I've, I've not been able to find an answer. I don't know if it was somebody that he, that he uh, knew or, or he just liked the word or, you know, I don't think he ever came here. At least nobody knows of Charlie Parker coming here. So... Um, so we're gonna do, we're gonna do Charlie Parker's Barbados. Yeah. All right, and that needs an alto saxophone. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully, this works better than my uh, connection. Uh, I don't think I'll play it. Is it? Thank you. 
Counting those tags. Ah, oh, man, it's so hard to concentrate when you know that your live stream has died. Ah, oh, well. I'm recording this and I'm going to put it on Facebook and YouTube and everywhere else so all is not completely lost. I'll keep that thought in mind. So, what else is Barbados good for? Well, Funny you should ask, we produce sugar. And that's a segue into my next song, which is entitled Sugar. And it's uh, the version, it's the sugar as composed by Stanley Turrentine. And uh, it's kind of a nice bluesy thing. Um, very nice composition. Sugar, of course, you know what we do with sugar. We make molasses, so we get molasses from sugar. And we take the molasses and we make rum and, um, and try and export it all over the world. That's what we do. Excuse me one second. Just had to move one of my homemade lights. All right, sugar. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, well, I definitely miss having some folks leaving some comments. Um, I miss the company. But I still get this video out there. Stanley Tarantino, sugar. So let me see, what else has been going on um, around Barbados apart from the good news of, the, um, of, our, of our lack of, of active COVID cases? Um, and Canada Day, uh, Canada Day, really, I mean, it's not anything going on around Barbados, but it's interesting, the relationship between Barbados and Canada. There is a really close relationship between those two countries. Um, Canada has helped us build our airport. Um, you know, Canadians come down here on holiday. I mentioned that already. And of course, um, we spend $200,000 sending our kids up to Canadian universities. There's a lot of Barbadians in Canadian universities. Um, and colleges, so um, so it's uh, it's we've we've had a great relationship with Canada. Happy Canada Day, again. What else is going on? Well, um, a group in Martinique that I work with called Foul Fret. They um, they put a, a song out on Facebook, a new composition out on Facebook today, um, not today, this week. Um, so if you're a fan of Foul Fret, F A L F R E T T, out in Martinique, you can check um, their Facebook page and check out that um, that song. I um, would do concerts with them at least once a year. Um, they very kindly would invite me over to Martinique. Um, not sure that's going to be happening um, in the next 10 minutes, that's for sure. Um, let's see. Oh, and we had an awful lot of Sahara dust. What is Sahara dust, you may ask? Well, Sahara dust is dust that comes from, believe it or not, uh, I'm gonna pull it, there it is. Believe it or not, it comes from the Sahara, yes. Sahara dust, and it looks something like this. This is an actual um, picture of a dust storm in I believe the Sahara Desert, and it travels all the way across the Atlantic and deposits itself on our cars in Barbados and makes them all dusty, which really is astonishing when you think about it. I call it camel dust because um, they have detected elements of camel in it. And I won't tell you which elements of camel they've detected in it, but basically it's the stuff that comes out of the uh, exhaust of camels, if you will, the rear exhaust. And yes, I think they've actually detected it um, in Barbados in, in, uh, in, in testing the atmosphere of the coast when this stuff comes over. So, um, let's see, play a, play a song, Andre. Right, um, what more appropriate to play when you have Sahara dust but a foggy day. Now, I know it's a foggy day in London town, but it's going to be a foggy day in Bridgetown. That's what we have this week. Ah, oh, foggy day, foggy day, foggy day. Foggy, foggy day.
got to say, I look like I'm playing on Mars. <laughs> there we go, a bit more light. You know, there's nothing worse than programming a backing track and then forgetting the, uh, the ending. <laughs> Oops. All right, so what else is going on here in Barbados? Well, tomorrow is a very auspicious day for my wife, Louise, and I. 32 years ago tomorrow, we got married. So tomorrow is our anniversary, or if you're watching this on July the 2nd, today is our anniversary, um, and it soon will be July the 2nd. Um, yes, it's gone by in an absolute flash, I have to say. Um, one marriage, two children, one mortgage, oh my goodness. Um, it has gone by quickly, I must say. Um, Anyways, so back in 1992, I wrote a song called Waltz for a Weary Wife, and um, I haven't played it for many, many, many years. It's actually on an, uh, my f the first album I ever did um, called uh, Voyager, is the name, name of the album, and the, uh, the tune is Waltz for a Weary Wife. So on the album, it's a nice little jazz, kind of a swingy waltz thing, but I thought, oh, you know what? It'd be way more romantic if it was in like some really driving Brian Adams kind of rock, you know? Um, so <laughs> here is Waltz for a Weary Wife, reimagined for a wife that rocks. Um, so happy anniversary, Louise. Yeah, I'll move this up here. Right. Oh, and um, I think it's about time for us to leave the Sahara, don't you? Yep, 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 yep. Oh, that's the airport. That's Toronto. Uh, oh, that's the bar. <laughs> we're going to get there. There we are. We're back at the beach. This is what happens when you don't have an operator and you can't see what you're doing. All right, waltz for a weary wife. And rock, baby.
All right. Mm -mm -mm. I always, uh, I always maintain that, um, and I, I always tell this to um, electric guitar players, rock guitar players in particular. I always say, you know, inside of every saxophone player is a lead guitarist bursting to get out, and um, and that's no exception. Waltz for a weary wife. Um, at least on Voyager. Happy anniversary, Louise. Okay, so also on that album was, uh, was another song, and again, I haven't played this in, well, since the last century for sure. Um, and this is a song called Too Busy, which really describes today. Whew, it was too busy. I think I need to, um, to go back with those folks over there. Where are they? They're over there. I need to go with those folks over there and, um, and have a... Uh, have a little swim or something, relax. And it's definitely been too busy today. Um, yeah, too busy.
There you go, too busy, too busy, too busy, too busy, too busy, too busy. Okay, so the next song is dedicated to my network connection. Yep. It's a beautiful Duke Ellington ballad entitled, I Got It Bad. <laughs> that's what's going to happen to my network connection when it sees the hammer that's coming for it. I got it bad. Actually, that's probably what's going to happen to me when my wife finds out that I took that beautiful swing ballad and turned it into rock. Oops. Let's see. Different reverb on this thing. Let me get it. Get out with it. Oh, no, press star four. Thank you. 
Duke Ellington's I Got It Bad. Dedicated to <laughs> my, my network connection, you know? My network connection. Um, okay, so, um, oh wait. I haven't done this yet. You see, I'm really bad at this. Where is it? There we go. I haven't had a single commercial break throughout this entire broadcast or recording or whatever it is. Um, so forgive me if I do one commercial interruption. I should have at least done two. I should have probably done more than that. But, you know, us artists, we're so into our art, I guess. Um, anywho. So preparing these broadcasts, recordings, and all that, it does take a fair amount of effort, and I do hope that it has brought you some enjoyment, some relaxation, um, or derisive laughter, whatever it is. If it brings you some stress relief in the middle of the week, then I've done my job, and I've, uh, I've helped you out a bit. So um, please consider making a, a donation, a contribution, a tip, whatever you'd like to call it, um, to uh, HTTPS colon backslash 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 www.paypal.me backslash Andre Woodvine. Um, that's me. And, um, and I will continue to try and do these broadcasts or videos weekly. Um, I would like to move on to, um, on to uh, YouTube and start doing some YouTube live stuff, but I really need to sort out my computer and, uh, and also get a better camera. Because right now I'm broadcasting off of a, um, what is that? It's a 720p Logitech. It's about 13 years old at least, and I think um, that it's time for an upgrade. So, um, so that, that would be nice to do as well. There you go. So commercial done. Let's see, where are we going? Oh, all right. So we're going back to Toronto for our last song here. What is our last song going to be? That is a really good question. Um, hmm. Let's do Fix It on Monday. Fix It on Monday it is. Fix It on Monday. Yep. Um, boom. Okay. All right. So this is, um, this is a song from my album, Fix It on Monday. It's the title track. All my, all my music is available on um, iTunes and um, other fine places where music is sold these days digitally, uh, CD Baby, places like that. So I um, hope you do enjoy Fix It on Monday. Thank you. 
Dr. Stefan Vanden, <laughs> Dr. Stefan, Dr. Stefan Walk on a piano. Oh my goodness, where is my brain? Richard Evans on bass. So that was uh, Fix It on Monday with, uh, with the musicians from the original recording, David Burnett on drums, Dr. Stefan Walcott on piano, <laughs> and uh, Richard Evans, Wild Bill on uh, bass. So there you have it. Um, this was supposed to be a live stream, a Facebook live stream. It obviously didn't work out very live, um, thanks to some network problems here and internet problems there and who knows what. Um, but if you're watching this, thank you so very much for watching. Um, my name is Andre Woodvine, obviously. This has been Andre Woodvine Live. Um, I'm trying to do this every week at uh, 9 p.m. on Wednesday night, so um, hope that we can make this happen live um, on Wednesday at 9 p.m. Eastern. Um, so until such time, until such time, um, I wish you and your family a very safe week, and I hope to see you all again soon. This is Andre Woodbine signing out. <laughs>